Right, in this video, we've got the Project Mini in the workshop. It looks tiny. Um, and we are gonna do a compression test. So in this video, we are gonna show you how to do a compression test on a Mini, but it'd be the same on a Morris Minor, MG Midget, and a lot of cars are basically the same. So, right, we are gonna take out all the four spark plugs in just a second. Alicia's pouncing, ready to go. Um, and we are gonna, and why would you do a compression test? So the basics of an engine is basically fuel and air gets compressed and then a spark ignites it. So if you've got a rough running engine or you're not sure you've bought a car and you're not sure how good it is, it's worth doing a compression test. So we're looking for good compression, but almost more importantly, we're looking for uniformity because if we've got one compression down, it means we've got a problem on a cylinder. Right, before we take the spark plug leads off, we are going to put a one on this one, put one dash on that one. Okay, and then two dashes on that one and then three dashes on that one, and then four dashes on that one. Right, just so you don't get confuddled and remember, forget which one's which. Right, now pop all those all those tap tops off, just lie them down, and we're gonna take all the spark plugs out. Have you ever taken a spark plug out before, Alicia? Uh, no. No, right, this is good. So if Alicia can do it, no offense, anyone can do it. Right, there you go, put your ratchet on there. Make sure it's on undo. So we've got a um, a special socket set that they're special. They've got a little rubber bit inside to stop you snapping off. Right, so see if you can get on that first one. Push it over. Now the trick is, Alicia, not to put too much force on this in this direction or you're going to snap the ceramic bit. So make sure you're just twisting. Undo, go on. There you go. Right, right, good. Right, I'll get on with that one. You get on with the next couple. There we go. All right, and while... Alicia's beavering away. Right, I'm gonna get you on. Don't snap them. I it. Is it okay? Yeah, so you gotta sort of push it over. There's a sort of rubbery bit. That's it. I don't lean on it too much. Just make sure it's don't react the force. Twist it. That's it. Or you'll snap the spark plug. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. There you go. Well done. Right. So as you're doing it, take a look at your spark plug. So they shouldn't be too black and sooty. I'm not sure how well this is focusing. Let me zoom in, there you go. It should be sort of nice brown. This one actually looks okay. Check you've got a gap there between the end of the electrode and the spark, worth doing. Check it generally looks okay. Doesn't look too bad. So you can learn a lot just by looking at whether they all look the same. All right, here we go. How are you doing? You. Who's winning, you or me? Oh, now he looks a bit sootier, look. He, he's got a bit of a soot situation going on there. So, now it would be odd with a single carburetor for, be a bit weird if any of them were running richer than the other. Don't snap them. Right, let's have a look at the third one. No, I might have to do that one if you're struggling. Yeah. Right, here we go. He looks, oh, let me get here, get a better focus on him. Okay, he looks a bit black and sooty. All right, again, let me zoom back out again. All right. Okay. Oh, he was tight. Right, so let's have him out. And see what this, this is the end of this one looks like. So we're looking at the color at the end of this here. You're busy working. This one looks okay. Sometimes if they're white, it's running too lean or too hot. But check the gap there between the end of the, they all look okay. We can check that with the feeler gate. Right, here's the compression test. This is a cheap one off eBay. So basically, this is gonna show us how much compression we've got. Now we've got two ways of doing it. We can just stick one of these in, okay, okay. And we can hold that in there and just hold it in and measure the compression. So what we'll do is I'll grab the camera. Alicia is gonna jump in the car and you're gonna turn the engine over like three or four times. It'll go doo -doo 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 -doo. And we will see what compression we get. Check it's in neutral or you'll run me over. Go on, man. Yeah. Okay, good. So you can see that. Come and take a look, Alicia. That's reading about 175. Okay, got that? Yeah. Right, swap. You have the camera. Right, now there's a little reset button. You press this and it goes right so do you want to film and hold that in number two okay okay you've got to hold it in because it's going to like try and puff its way out ready yeah here we go uh, i'll do like three or four times what have you got 
75. 75. Oh, that's seriously low. That's not good. Right, let me check you've done that, right? Let me hold this. Right, swap again. Right, that is, that is not good. Right, here we go, let's have a look. Right, so there you go. So that is 175. You didn't push hard enough. You've got to really lean to get that in. Right, chance to redeem yourself. There we go. Come on, Alyssa, you can do it. Lean on it with all your, because it's trying to puff its way out, yeah? You're on number three now. Yeah. Yeah, tell me when you're ready. Ready. What are we up to? Nearly 175. Nearly 175, let's have a look. Yeah, that's good, we're happy with that. That's really good actually, they're all pretty consistent. All right, press that, release it again. All right, do the last one then. We're hoping for 175. Ready? Yeah. What we got there? Uh, one... 130? 130? Ish. Well, I'm going to try that again. Go on, swap again. I heard a bit of puffy leakage. All right, here we go. Here we go. Hold on. All right, I'm ready. Okay, right, let's have a look. No, he's, oh, I reckon we've got 180 there. He's brilliant. So yeah, right, now, this proves a point. Right, film back this way. That way is good, but it relies on you having a good sort of holding the force, which isn't always easy. So there is another way of doing it. You can use this and this. Make sure you've got a selection there. And they screw on there. And then what we can do is we can screw that into the cylinder. Now it takes a bit longer, but, and also if you're on your own, if you haven't got a willing assistant to help you, well, I'm gonna, that seems to be an awkward way of doing it. Right. Put that in there. Right. There you go, look, spin that in. Right. And that seals, and then you don't need anybody to help you. You can put that in, that'll seal, then we can put this in, make sure that's all in and that, rest that there, you can film that Alyssa, and that. we should get the same reading, but obviously it's not, there's nowhere for it to leak now. What have we got there? Uh, 125. 125? Yeah. Wow, that's not right, is it? No. Was it leaking out of there? I did feel a bit air. You did feel a bit of air, okay. Let's make sure that's tight. Alright, let me try again. Any better? No, it's still so the air's still coming out. Is the air still coming out? So yeah. maybe. Not as good. Like someone's probably got a tip, like you probably have to put some grease or something around the thread. But, so there we go. So I thought the rubber thing would be rubbish, but right, we're all happy. That's actually got a really good compression on all cylinders there. Um, so that's good. We probably won't take the cylinder head off. We might and clean it up, but we'll have a look. But there you go, how to do a compression test. Right, bonus feature. So maybe we need to do a compression test on our new Defender. Um, I think it's only got five out of six cylinders working. I think we may have blown it with 800 miles on the clock, but that's yet to be confirmed. I'm not going to start any vicious rumours yet, but keep watching.